National Academic Depository under the National Academic Depository Bill of 2011. Recently, the Union Cabinet accorded its approval for the establishment and operationalization of National Academic Depository, that is NAD. This decision of establishing National Academic Depository is under the provisions of the National Academic Depository Bill of 2011 and this brings an another dimension, an enhancement of the vision of Digital India announced by the Prime Minister. The National Academic Depository would be established and operationalized within next three months and it would be rolled out throughout the country in 2017 and 18. The National Academic Depository would be operationalized by the NSDL Database Management Limited and the CDSL Ventures Limited, those two public sector companies and they are the two of the wholly owned subsidiaries of the depositories registered under Securities Exchange Board of India, that is SEBI Act of 1992. These academic institutions should be responsible for the authenticity of data that are digitally uploaded by them into the system. The depositories will ensure the integrity of the data in the National Academic Depository. The National Academic Depository will register educational institutions, boards, eligibility assessment bodies, students and other users and other verifying entities like banks, employer companies, government agencies and academic institutions. National Academic Depository will provide a digital or a printed copy of the academic award with security features to the students or other authorized users. The depository will verify academic awards online on the same day of request that are initiated by the authorized user. Requests for access to the academic awards, for example, from potential employers and academic institutions would be only on the basis of the consent of the student. National Academic Depository also maintains authenticity, integrity and confidentiality of its database. It will also train and facilitate academic institutions, boards, eligibility assessment bodies as said before to efficiently lodge academic awards in its database. As said before, all these decisions have been taken up under the provisions of the National Academic Depository Bill of 2011. Now let us see the provisions of the National Academic Depository Bill of 2011. This bill seeks to establish a national database of academic awards in electronic format and this can be verified and authenticated. The central government shall appoint a depository as the National Academic Depository to establish and maintain the national database. This bill makes it mandatory for every academic institutions that is college, university, boards, that award class 10 and class 12 certificates to launch every academic award with the depository. The depository shall provide a training to the staff of the academic institutions and it will recover a reasonable cost of the training. Any disputes regarding cost shall be adjudicated by the state educational tribunal. On a request made by the depository, an academic institution has to verify within seven days that the award was indeed issued by the institution. Any person may apply to the depository or a registered agent to verify and authenticate any specific award. The depository shall inform the person within three days whether the award could be verified and authenticated. So, the depository has to meet certain conditions. The conditions have been laid. They are, number one, it has to be registered under the Securities and Exchange Board of India 
ऑफ 1992 और इज फुल्ली ओन्ड सब्सिडरी ऑफ सच डिपॉजिटरी नंबर टू इट्स मेमोरेंडम एसोसिएशन शुड स्पेसिफिकली मेंशन दैट इट इज अ डिपॉजिटरी सर्विस फॉर एकेडमिक अवार्ड्स एज वन ऑफ इट्स ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड फर्दर इट शुड फुलफिल अदर टर्म्स एंड कंडीशन दैट मे बी प्रिस्क्राइब the central government shall authorize a depository to begin operations only when it is satisfied that there are number 1 adequate systems for storage and retrieval of records from the national database further there are safeguards to ensure that its automatic data processing system is indeed secure there should be adequate network through which depository shall maintain continuous electronic communication with academic institutions and other concerned bodies finally there should be adequate number of facilitation centers established by the depository to provide these services now the central government shall also review the working of the depository every 10 years if satisfied with the working it shall renew the registration for another 10 years if not the registration may be revoked the central government may also revoke the appointment of a depository on a certain grounds such as willful default breach of terms and conditions and also financial viability the depository has to provide for registration of, of academic institutions provide access to the national database to the registered academic institutions and also training to academic institution to lodge and retrieve academic records it should also further verify and authenticate as said before any academic award in national database and you should ensure that databases are designed in such a way to facilitate online interaction with central identities data repository and that will be created under the national identification authority of india of 2011 the depository has to fulfill certain requirements as said before such as adequate mechanisms for monitoring and evaluating controls data recovery mechanisms and safeguards it should also maintain a data backup and ensure a security online connectivity These measures shall be inspected annually by a panel of independent experts and they will be appointed by the central government. The depository shall register academic depository agents to assist in providing services. These agents cannot be minors and they should not be of unsound mind and they should not hold any equity share capital or have any other interest in the depository. The bill also lists various offences and penalties. For example, if any person not authorized to do so accesses the database, downloads or damages any data, or introduces computer viruses, he shall have to pay a fine up to one crore rupees. Such cases shall be adjudicated by the National Educational Tribunal. It also includes certain offences such as hacking. and tampering with computer source documents and for this the penalty shall be in accordance with the information technology act of 